Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about rewrites. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, so I have a situation at work. There, There is this, I guess you could call it service in our app and I'm asked to change the core implementation of said service. Now I can either completely remake it from scratch or only try to change things that needs changing. So my question is, how do I actually know which path to choose? Do I basically guess how to? Uh, uh, do I basically make a guess, or are there some, there are some rules of thumb that I can I can use in order to make this decision? Also, the priority is basically that whatever takes less time to do uh, to do it in is better. In other words, I don't know if I should remake the whole thing or if I should just change some part of my implementation. What would you do? Well, this is the this is uh, you, I'm going to give you a really sucky answer to this one. You're not going to like it. This is the difference between a senior, experienced master programmer and a junior. You have no way of knowing because unfortunately there are no rules of thumb here that I can give you that doesn't end with a million exceptions because I mean you can follow everything here yeah, I can tell you that oh you sh uh, is this a duplication and if you've repeated yourself three times then you should refactor it uh, you should not rewrite it if it is working code and you don't have any documentation except because the re if there are no tests then it's a risk to rewrite the thing there's so many perspectives to this problem and so many philosophies there's that in different ways tries to capture something that is vastly more complicated than any one answer and there where if I just say this is the way you should think about it you're just most likely going to go through the same thing, uh, the thing that I think that you should do. And I don't want to contribute to this confusion for you. I want to give you the answer that might not be the silver bullet that you hope for, but it's going to be the real answer. And the real answer is that you need to go by gut feeling here. There's nothing else you can do. Your experience and prior failures and successes with making these sorts of decisions is the thing that is going to see you through this. And this is the reason why you don't pay a junior software developer the same amount as a senior software developer. Because it's very, very hard to know when you should rewrite something or when you should change something. or what the, like, you know, the better you are at software development, the more likely you are to make a good call in a situation like this. Uh, you're more likely to make a good implementation on the first go. You're more likely to be able to figure out, all right, this feature here, well, it's not nice, nice, but it's not really an issue. Like it's still going, it's going to scale fairly well. It's going to not create a lot of confusion for the maintainer. So you don't really have to fix it because if you want to fix it, the cost of fixing it is actually so high that it's just not worth it, the cost value and, and, and the ratio that it is off. But in, in another scenario, if, which may from a, from a junior's perspective be very similar, it might be that, you know what, this is actually really, really bad. And it's, uh, this thing here is going to cause a lot of issues or it is causing a lot of issues that are fairly severe. And if we just let it be the way it is, it's going to just get worse. It's it's a hard thing to be describe, but it's the same thing with any master craftsman or a doctor or whatever. Like in the beginning, you might in in the beginning you don't have an eye for which decisions are really important and which are not so important. And just as someone who is building a building or so forth needs to look out for certain things that are very important to get right. There are certain beams within the building that like uh, like supporting beams and so forth, like they really need to do their job well, because if they don't, the whole thing collapses. But in some cases, there are decisions where it's not really worth to, uh, you can skimp a little bit on quality of uh, your, you know, of um, uh, materials or whatever, or it's like kind of cut some corners just to get the thing done, because it's not gonna collapse the entire building. And this way for the, our software developers, is very similar, where based on your experience, you're going to be able to tell, tell in this case, should I rewrite this service from scratch or should I just 
tweak it. And since I can't see the code and I don't know your domain, it's pri I would ne never be able to answer that. And you, as I'm basically trying to tell you, if you don't know any better, then you're going to have to go with your gut feeling and accept whatever outcome comes from that. Because the thing is, this is the reason, as I said, why you are a junior developer. Or, well, you don't have to be, a, you don't specif specify that you're a junior, but th this thing here is the difference. Because you don't have the experience, you haven't made enough of these decisions before and seen how it goes to know what to do. And in some cases, even if you're a master programmer, it's practically impossible for you to say. In some cases, it's like so hard to tell what's going to go that you, well, you're going to have to just say, I'm going to take this arbitrary rule that someone said sometime, or I'm going to flip a coin and say, yeah, I'm going to stay, I'm, I'm going to go with that principle because it's my gut is telling me that that is the best thing. That intuition that you build uh, with experience, that is the thing that you need to fall back on here. But you can't have, if you don't have that already, you can't just you can then it doesn't really matter which path you go so you need to t sit down now and really think about the, the val cost value uh, analysis here if you know that rewriting this from scratch is going to take a lot of time as you said time is a factor for you then don't do it because the only reason you should do it is if you feel like this thing here, uh, this is actually going to make a difference. This is actually going to create a l greater end result. You shouldn't just rewrite it for the sake of rewriting it. That's pointless. You really need to figure out, is, it, is this thing actually so dangerous for the system that it needs a rewrite? Or can we survive without the rewrite? And then prioritize accordingly. Don't follow blindly somebody's rule saying that you should always do A or B. You need to think, you need to use your experience and wisdom. These uh, rules that you hear about, let them guide you, but don't follow them like a religious fanatic. So what I want you to take away from this is that there is no rule for when to rewrite something or when to tweak it or like try to fi fit it in or uh, whatever. Uh, because there's every problem is different. In some cases the rewrite is the right way to go. Uh, and in some and in some cases the it's not the right way to go. It's in some cases you need to rewrite the, re, uh, the whole system, and in some cases just refactoring a small portion of it is more than good enough. It's practically impossible to say. And the only thing that you have to go on here is prior experience. And if you don't have that, you need to attain it. And so that's why I tell you try to make the best call that you can at this moment and understand that even if it doesn't go all that well reflect on it try to learn from it because then the next time you're going to make this decision you because you can go back and fix it then to look at the results and do it again and understand that that is the way that the senior master developers that's how they know the stuff that they know they've done this a hundred times before so they can tell what's going to happen before they do something and you're on your way to get to that point as well but to get there you have to fail a little while and fail a few times and make some guesses because you can't know everything up front. Have a great day.